going to be an eliminator. That means the loser of this game goes home and starts preparing for season four. The winner stays alive. Montreal Tigers versus the Brampton Wolves. Does Lenny give it a flick? Heads is the call. It's a tail. A happy man, Chris Lynn, what are you going to do? Do I need to ask? No, I don't think you need to ask. We're going to have a bowl. Yeah, both teams looks quite good, and they've got a lovely depth in both the squad. First ball. Early call is for two. I think it's just going to be one, though. Bang! Straight down the ground. That's a fine shot from Johnson. It was in the slot. But he played it beautifully, he didn't try and overhit it. And just lifting his back leg to get that body weight going through the shot. The second over. Oh, that's straight through the captain. That's going to run away and go for four. The Carlos Bradford didn't enjoy that. But the batsman wouldn't complain and Chris Lynn, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Yeah, reaction from Carlos. Yeah, he's been a huge injection for us. Catch it. Thank you. Well caught, well called. Chris Lynn and the first wicket. It was there, you would think it was there in the slot, but just couldn't control the shot. Wanted to go aerial, but just didn't get any elevation on that one. Usman and nicely taken by defender as well. And Carlos Brathwaite picks up yet another wicket. Oh, short. Swung away for six. Very nice from Johnson. No, but there was a bit of pace behind it. It was a lovely pickup. Really good shot from Aaron Jones because it came off the surface really nicely. There was a nice bit of skid off the pitch. I'll tell you the one thing that's nicely played behind point timing. Perfect from Chapman. Right away. Nice shot. Chops it off of stumps, really. Stays leg side of the ball. Gives him a chance. Really good hit. Got him, knocked him over. Dipindra picks up his second GT20 wicket, and it's a big one. Chapman, an ugly swipe, he's on his way. To the wickets, this is an ugly dismissal. Just starting to feel good at the crease, got a boundary away. Good from the bowler, angling the ball in, because he knows Chapman wants to go back and cut. He comes down the pitch, it's a swipe. It's the only way he can describe it. Oh, wanted to go aerial. One bounce into the boundary. Wonderful shot by Johnson. Just opening that offside by giving himself a bit of room. With Midorf up in the circle, Andre Russell's attack here is to try and bowl into the surface and try and ask the batter to play that particular shot. So he'll sort of walk back to his mark and be, well, okay, he can get away with one there. Yeah, the fine leg comes in and both the legs to half volley. This one is a poor delivery because he's just brought fine leg up into the circle and he overcompensates. So that's a free hit for Johnson. A lovely shot. Might pick up a boundary. Very nicely plays and very nicely timed by Grando. A bit of time if you lose a wicket, but at the same time, you keep rotating the strike. And nicely plays half volley. And they will not take it deep. This is incredible in my view. You've just had a moment where there must have been a great deal of reinforcement, a great deal of discussion, a great deal of encouragement about how to take the game and where to take the game. And you play a shot like that, the very first ball after a strategic timeout. Yeah, that's, that's a terrible shot. Terrible, terrible shot. When you need a partnership and you just need to get the scoreboard moving, ones and twos, they wait for the bad deliveries, loses his wicket. And as I say, they have every opportunity. He goes against the run of play. He tries to hit this through the offside with a reverse sweep. It's a quicker delivery. It's pulled at the stumps. Nine can again. Outside, quarter of the bat, I think, and that's run away for four. Nowhere near where he wanted to go, but he won't mind too much. Ryan has done a fine job picking a couple of quick ones up. Andre Russell 
We'll uh, keep trying to ball nice and full, shot the stumps, and there's another one gone. And it's Colin de Gronholm who's been run out. That is key. Gets a Yorker in, it's a good ball by Dre Ross. Chima just sets off. There's a half a run. That's all there is here. Colin de Gronholm absolutely stitched up. Good keeping. Excellent work. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Oh, another run out, another run out on his way. Absolutely crazy, Chris Green. Oh, All yeah. the experience, there's never a run. Keep on, keep on. There is not even half a run there. It's a mistake. It's a brain fade. It's good fielding. Kept his composure, made sure the throw was accurate enough. Green, not even. <laughs> Has he got all of this? No, he doesn't. I think that's Shafeen Rutherford that takes the catch. Bangs it in. Says, go and hit me for six. Take on the fielder. And Natish does. Nice, comfortable catch. Yeah, falling short today. The EF2, they'll go. Yes, on. I think he's gone. This could be another run out. They look like they're having lots of high fives. Great piece of fielding. Fielder had a lot of work to do. Let's have a look at the release. Great release from Mohamed Wazin. Over the top, out by a mile. Third run out, and it's coming to an end. Out goes the finger. Great to see him on board. Oh, big shot, Logan Van Beek. He can hit a long ball, he's a powerful man. But this one is in my go zone. Powerful, good strike down the ground. Put some pressure back on the bowler. Three deliveries left here in this batting innings. An edge and taken. Because he went wide. It's a little leg cutter, a little roller that just bounced. Just bounced. Nice piece of bowling. There's the celebration. He's saying, your day is over, Mr. Van Beek. On your way back. Walk into the dugout. Oh, it's bowled perfectly, wonderfully. And another run out! Oh, my, the Tigers, have they put on a show with the ball in hand? Have they put on a show with their fielding? Great stuff from Brathwaite. Skillful, great piece of fielding. Picked it up in one hand, bang! Took a shot, backed himself to hit, middle stump, dead centre, run out number four, classy performance by the Montreal Tigers. That has been impressive. What a show they've put on. The Montreal Tigers, they will need 105 runs off their 20 overs. Spin against Chris Lynn, good start, good move. Not a good start. Not a good move. <laughs> uh, 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 it was unbelievable for me. Oh, that's uh, four runs. Yeah, that's away for a boundary. So you're on the sidelines, not getting a go, then suddenly a couple of those lately bowling jarred on the nets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Van Beek now. Oh, that's beautifully played. That's superbly picked up. That's gone for six. What a great start of the over that is. So cleanly. In his arc. It wasn't a bad delivery. Nothing wrong with that ball from Van Beek. He's had a good tournament. This is where he hits though, Mohamed Wasim. So powerful. And was what about a message for all these uh, young Canadians? Chris Green to continue. Tries to play the big shot. Fielder runs back. Does it kick on? Yes, it does. Picks up a boundary. This is the boundary to start off the over. Oh, that sounds good. It'll be just one bounce for four, but it sounded good from Chris Lynn. And they will do it by shots like this. Southie took pace off, it was in the hitting zone. It was over home plate, and Lynn said, yeah, I'll have a piece of that. Good start to the over. Punished. It's hit hard, it's hit well. Chris Lynn, that's an amazing shot. To end the power play, it's 40 without, 41 without loss. Oh, big shot. He gets all of that, does Mohamed Wasim. That bottom hand coming into work. And it went sailing away. 
Turkish Airlines, our official airline partner. From 14 overs. In the air, has he got all of it? Green can only watch, yes he does. Flat batted straight, not an easy shot. But he had the wind behind him, so got it up. And goes again. Green gives chase, does it skip along? Yes it does, it goes for four. It's that back of a length again from Van Beek that sits up, tries to take a little bit of pace off it. It's baseballed. It's baseballed over mid-wicket. That's a shot that Toronto Blue Jays would have been happy with. Oh, he's got more of it. Oh, how do you like that? Has it gone over the stand? I think it has. We may need new balls. And it's just saying, hit me, look at it. Oh, yes. Yes, sirree, Chris Lynn. That has gone a mile. And wanted to go big, very smart. He's been terrific. Ahmed Zai just holding it back slightly and just dragging the length. Well, this is the end of Mohamed Wasi. Comes too early, actually. You could see his foot just twitching. So Ahmed Zai, clever enough to take a little bit of pace off and Wasim gave the game away. Left arm tweaker gets his first. And he goes for it and he's going to go for a long, long way. Massive blow from Klislin again. You knew anything in his arc, he's going to go. Brilliant. 50 up for Chris Lynn. What a way to bring it up to. Superb knock. Excellent, excellent batting. Captain really well. Coming back into form at the right time. What a wonderful way to bring it up. Leading from the front. They needed him to fire. Boy, has he fired. A massive blow again. He's already hit three sixes in his innings and five boundaries. They can bank this one. TD Canada, the official bank sponsor. Very good work from them. That's put away with these. Chris Lynn's playing superbly. He really has. He launches that one. He's hit it beautifully. From Baker's back, it's a good ground. Couldn't quite get there. It's going to run away for a boundary. At one stage, looked like he was uh, going to get a hand on that. It's tossed up. It doesn't quite get all of it. Almost places it. Hard down the ground. That's gone for six. I think that was six. It was flat. Giving himself some room. Flat batted, hit down the ground powerfully. I think your eyes deceived you there. Mike Hazeman, I think you saw yourself sitting inside that. Uh, Lynn of the non strikers in on 63. Richard Ratner is on strike and hits that winning run. That's it. If they get there, the Montreal Tigers. They continue. The Brampton Wolves are the ones that are going to be going home. Montreal Tigers stay alive. It's been uh, another team that has played well when it really counts, the Montreal Tigers, and this time led by Chris Lynn. And the Brampton Wolves, unfortunately, just didn't bat well enough. That's the bottom line. Nothing wrong with conditions out there. As Chris Lynn has showed us, it's been a really solid performance by the Tigers, maybe Ed Rainsford, it was their mascot they brought in. Tigers versus the Brampton Wolves, that was the eliminator we just saw. Tigers won by nine wickets. You don't see the Wolves anymore, but the Tigers continue, and they play against the Vancouver Knights tomorrow, qualifier number two. So Tigers against the Knights, qualifier two, and then the winner of that one plays against the Surrey Jaguars in the big final.